Hi and welcome back. So following the last video I uploaded about Brian Johnson and Dave Pascoe, and Dave Pascoe is a gentleman who at present is beating Brian Johnson in his rejuvenation Olympics and for a lot less money per year, I received an awful lot of comments about Dave Pascoe asking me about his supplement regimen, his daily routine, fitness, etc. So in this first video of a couple, I'm going to cover his daily routine and cover the products that he actually uses during that routine. And let me know in the comments below, would you like me to do more videos on Dave Pascoe looking into his supplements and also into his fitness regimen? So with regard to routines, Dave says he does have a regular routine. However, life happens. If something should come up that would interfere with performing one or more of the aspects of a routine, he says, I don't stress about it. I'll just do them at an alternative time or I'll pick them up the next day. While it's awesome to have good structure and discipline, some of the best things in life occur spontaneously. He goes on to say that me time is extremely important to him. So he schedules for it, but he will not pass on an opportunity to spend quality time with other people. Dave says, as a single guy who lives alone, I'll trade that workout, sauna session or biohack for connected quality time every time. A single day of missing a few routines will not kill me. However, chronic and desired disruptions will certainly get me extremely agitated. So onto his morning routine, he wakes up whenever, no alarms and no stress, he says. While still in bed, he uses the Bema B body mat at level 10 intensity for eight minutes. He then stretches his lower back, feet overhead, knees to chest and shins to forehead for however long that takes to get there fully. He then takes his on waking medications and supplements and begins listening to podcasts and or his audible book selection. Then it's onto the mini trampoline for five minutes. Next, a various floor stretches, his hips, his legs, his back and shoulders. And again, he does this for 15 minutes. Then he moves on to 15 minutes using a foam roller. Next on the list is a five minute session on his inversion table. He then brushes his teeth, scrapes his tongue, washes his face, and then he weighs himself. He says he then checks his sleep scores on his numerous fitness trackers, those being his Garmin, his Aura Ring, his Whoop, and also his Eight Sleep. His on waking medications and supplements include bioregulators of the week, various proteolytic enzymes, a qualia senolytic for two days, once monthly, quercetin, fisetin, and theoflavin. This is washed down with a home-brewed lemon tea, which contains one sachet of Omnibiotic Hetox Probiotics, Optimida Health Complex Essentials, fruit and veggie whole food vitamins, and mineral greens. And then he also takes two scoops of collagen peptides. He adds to this another half a cup of stage three filtered water to completely fill his glass mug and occasionally adds methyl blue and or a H2 tablet. Then it's on to a 20 minute juve red light therapy session. And he says all this is done hopefully before sunrise. Then it's on to a Carol bike sprint session. This is a recent addition. He says he started this back in November of 2023. He then prepares and begins to drink his pre post workout supplement shake and continues to drink this throughout his daily workouts. He says he adds to this shake one teaspoon of each of the following bulletproof MCT oil, C60 in virgin olive oil, Rosita cod liver oil, and Siberian sea buckthorn oil. He then heads outside for some sunrise exposure. He says that normally an outdoor walk or a run would occur here during the warmer weather. However, to avoid a slip and a fall and an injury during winter months, he says, I opt for my treadmill in the basement whenever the outdoor temperature drops below freezing and or there is snow or ice present on the ground. He then does his P90X workout of the day, sometimes all at once, and sometimes he performs his exercises throughout the day in what he calls exercise snacks. Then it's onto his ab workout, and for this he uses his Tap Out XT 8-pack Abs XT and his P90X Ab Ripper X together, and he does these back to back every other day. Then he heads into his infrared sauna, for some meditation, and this takes between 25 and 45 minutes. He then injects his peptides of the day, and he does this obviously when it's applicable. Then a shower with Dr. Bromer's Castile soap, and he occasionally uses Altura Meteorite Facial Scrub. 
He then moisturizes with La Roche Posay Lapidary Balm AP Plus Intense Repair Body Lotion for dry skin. He says he does this especially in the winter. Then he eats breakfast with proteolytic enzymes. Moving on to his early mid afternoon routine, he says that he eats lunch occasionally and he says, I'm usually too busy to stop to eat. Only a few times a week, again, with proteolytic enzymes. Here he then pauses listening to podcasts and audible books, and he starts to watch YouTube videos while he's eating. In the late afternoon, he stops listening to podcasts, books, and also all the YouTube videos. Dave Pasco says he eats dinner typically between 3 and 5 p.m. in the afternoon. Then it's on to his evening supplements, plus proteolytic enzymes, taken with dinner, but only during weekdays. Now he starts to watch Netflix in the kitchen while he's dining. As part of this ritual, at sundown, he shifts to red lights in the house using Philips Hue light bulbs, progressively dimming these lights throughout the evening. All screens, that's TVs, monitors, tablets, and phones, are set to automatically reduce blue light on a set schedule. He says that for everything else, he wears blue blocking glasses. That complete, he then moves on to his after dinner routine. Here he continues watching Netflix, but this time in the den while working on his balance and flexibility using his boosu ball and also his fitter first balance board. Now he also takes two scoops of collagen peptides. He also eats two kiwi fruits and occasionally has a light snack of pistachios and corella. To complete this, he moves into his bedroom routine. He flosses and brushes his teeth and washes his face with La Roche Posay Tolerine Hydrating Gentle Face Cleanser and La Roche Posay Ultra Fine Scrub for sensitive skin. He then applies whole body skin treatments, especially on, he says, his face, his neck, his chest, and also on his hands. And he combines and or rotates many different skin treatments. He then takes 15 to 30 milliliters of HV. MN Ketone IQ and six milligrams of rapamycin, and this is weekly or once every two weeks on a Friday night. He then injects his evening peptides when applicable. Then it's back to the Bema B Body Mat Program 2 without pulse for 16 minutes. Obviously, this is in bed. He says he then prays and reviews his daily blessings until he falls asleep. Let's now look at his quarterly and semi annual activities. So, plasma donations twice weekly for two to three weeks, and this is done quarterly. Entire blood volume, he says, is filtered in less than five donations. Next is hyperbaric oxygen treatment, HBOT, 10 90 minute sessions, and that's for 10 days in a row. And this is done annually or semi annually. And he does this for injury repair, DNA repair, telomere lengthening and also clearance of senescent cells. Well, I hope you found that interesting or informative, hopefully both. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like me to cover in more detail the supplements and the drugs that he does take throughout the day and what the benefits of each of these supplements or drugs actually are. Also, in a separate video, would you like me to cover his meal schedule and in more detail what his meal plan is, including the ingredients? If you do, let me know in the comments below.